Can you solve this transcendental equation directly? At first you might think, well, 49 is just 7 squared, right? But what we're looking for is t raised to the power of t. That means t is both the base and the exponent. In 7 squared, 7 is the base and 2 is the exponent. They're not the same, so that doesn't work here. What if we start making some guesses? Try 2 to the power of 2, 3 to the power of 3, 4 to the power of 4. Hmm. None of those equal 49. But we can clearly see that 27 is less than 49, and 256 is greater than 49. We got a clue that solution must be somewhere between 3 and 4. Let's visualize this with a graph. If we plot function t to the power of t, you'll see it's an increasing function for a t greater than 1. The dotted green lines mark our boundary values. They show that our answer lies between 3 to the power of 3 and 4 to the power of 4. And this solid yellow line represents y equals 49. Notice how it intersects the curve at exactly one point. That means there's only one real solution to the equation. All right, let's try solving it. The first step is to take the natural logarithm of both sides. Using the log rule, we can rewrite the equation as t times the natural log of t equals the natural log of 49. The problem is, from this point on, we can't solve it using any elementary functions. No basic algebra or calculus trick will work here. To go further, we need something called the Lambert W function. So what exactly is the Lambert W function? Let's suppose we have a number, we'll call it z, and we give it to the Lambert W function. It returns a number, a constant, which we call w of z. If you take that number and multiply it by e raised to the power of that number, then guess what? you get back your original number z. To better understand it, suppose z equals 2. If we plug 2 into the Lambert w function, it gives us approximately 0 0.8526. Now, take that value and multiply it by e to the power of 0 0.8526. You get approximately 2. Back to our main equation. You'll notice there's no e in the expression, but we can change that. Suppose we say, natural log of t equals x. If we apply e to both sides, we get t equals e to the x. Now let's substitute these into our original equation. It becomes x times e to the x equals natural log of 49. This clever substitution transforms our equation into a form that the Lambert w function can handle. Now I want your full attention here. Look carefully at these equations, especially the last two. If we give natural log of 49, which you can think of as z, to the Lambert w function, it will give us, any guesses? Yes, it will give us x. And since x equals natural log of t and t equals e to the x, we can now write t equals e to the power of w of natural log of 49. And that's it. We've found our solution. One more thing. We can also write above expression like this. That means we can also calculate t by dividing the natural log of 49 by the Lambert w of natural log of 49. And this is our final solution. All we need to do now is plug in some numbers. The natural log of 49 is approximately 3.891. The Lambert w of 3.891 is about 1.187, which you can easily calculate using tools like Wolfram Alpha. Now raise e to the power of 1.187, and you get approximately 3.278. Perfect. This confirms our earlier prediction that the answer would be between 3 and 4. Subscribe for more videos like this.